guys. The other day I posted over at hobbymachinist.com about picking up this Starrett Square 12 inch rule, 6 inch rule with the uh, center finding head, the square head, and uh, also the protractor head. I was asking if anybody knew how to clean these up. There's some staining on the blade and some people suggested a product called the Miracle Cloth and sent some links. I, I clicked on the links and uh, I'm in Canada and I was having no luck. The shipping was outrageous. Some of the links they said they were out of stock etc. So a member there private messaged me and, and said here's a couple of links. Pick what you want. I'll, I'll purchase it and I'll mail it to you. And I thought great. How nice of this gentleman. So I said I picked on one of the links and I said, get me the Miracle Cloth, get me two of the bigger ones and uh, we'll figure out postage and I'll send you some money. So he did that. He, uh, he sent me the cloth and I said again, okay, what do I owe you? How much? And he said, he just wants to pay it forward. He gifted me these cloths. This gentleman is goes by H-Man or John Herman over at HobbyMachinist.com. Thank you so much, John. It took, uh, it's a bit of an adventure for them to get here, but they're here now, and we will have a look. This is the real first opening. all-purpose polishing cloth with real coconut oil. A revolutionary new polishing cloth that replaces a full shelf of liquid paste and powder cleaners. Cleans and polishes copper, brass, silver and all other metals. Removes heat rings and other stains from furniture. Cleans ceramic tile. Yada yada. Let me just read up a little more and I'll get back to Okay, here it is. We will cut a little patch here, I think. And we'll tuck this carefully back away. I'll get a ziplock later and seal it up good. a good area. There's a good area there. The four, one to six on the eighth scale. This scale is well used, but I'm glad to have it all the same. I 
picked up a new thumbscrew for it. The old thumbscrew was not feeling great. It felt a little mushy and not sharp. So I picked up a new thumbscrew. The thumbscrew was quite reasonably priced. I thought it was seven dollars Canadian, free shipping. Came in a ridiculously large box, which I did a video of unboxing just because it was so bizarre. Different difference there. Here's a particularly bad area. Let's uh, concentrate on that just for a second. Definite improvement. Here's what I really want to try. This is a Sterrett caliper. We'll concentrate on this surface of this arm for starters. Not an instant cure, for sure. Maybe that's asking quite a bit. More in right Sheffield, England. The package says that the discoloration of the cloth doesn't mean it's done, it's, it means it's working hard, it says. There you can see a different, definite difference after just three minutes.
Oh yes, those will come up nicely. That's good results there. Now, I don't know who made these dividers. No name on them that I can see. But I think they're quite old. Actually, there is... Cadman is the second name. Somebody and Cadman. Let's have a go at that. See if we can bring that out. H O U N So I've done uh, this leg and the arm here. Last improvement. These are pretty pretty rough shape. So we can't expect it to restore it completely. Overall, a good product. It's uh, I think Miracle is maybe stretching a little bit. The Miracle is in the elbow grease, not the cloth. If you spent, uh, it'd take quite a bit of time, but these would come up nice. Thanks for watching, and thanks again to H-Man over at hobbymachinist.com. Thanks for watching, guys.